A senator representing Lagos Central District in, at the upper chamber of the National Assembly, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, says Nigerians should have faith in their leaders. She believes this is one of the lessons of the Idel El Kabir celebration. TVC News correspondent Olawa Kon reports. It is another Idel El Kabir celebration and Muslim faithful in Lagos have just finished praying. They believe the season is for Nigerians to work for the peace and unity of the nation as preached by Islam. My message is peace and uh, tolerance. That's the message. That's the message of uh, Salah. We should be committed to God. We should seek guidance from God. We should, everything, all our all in all, should be with God. And it will restore our nation to where we want it to be. The period is also a period that brings unity, that brings love between the Muslim and the Christian. Rather than killing human beings, God has replaced it with Ram. And we are doing the sunnah of Anobi Ibrahim Ali Salat. I wish all the Muslims well. At the residence of the national leader of the APC, Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu in Lagos, it is a time to sing, dance, eat, drink and celebrate with others. Senator Luremi Tinubu wants Nigerians to reflect on the message of the season. Lagos is a mini Nigeria. We've lived here, they can see the way all different tribes have lived and we have coexisted you know, in a very wonderful manner. So I, I don't see any reason why we cannot continue to do so. And I pray that this season that, you know, uh, Islam is a religion of peace. So I think we should use this season to uh, show love to our neighbors. Guests highlight tolerance, sacrifice, faith, and communal love as ingredients for national development. We should all imbibe the spirit of sacrifice and tolerance so that we may continue to live together as an indivisible entity. I wish everybody a happy Salah. It's in the holy books, both the holy Quran and the holy Bible. It's basically written that after your submission to God, those that Almighty God in His wisdom, in His wish that nobody can query, put in positions of authority, we must also obey them. It can't be different than to just appeal to all our women to be patient with this administration. This is a government that believes that Nigeria must change its narrative. The narrative of poverty must be changed. Ola Awakon, TVC News. Lagos.